Uh, thank you very much. And I know you want to... You, you uh, no, I will not abuse anything. You won't abuse my... And I'll be calm. Good and I will, I will... Are I glad? Yes, thank you. Now that, now that, now that the British um, Supreme Court has ruled unanimously that Parliament there is sovereign and that uh, the prorogation uh, is lawful, in fact, it's ruled it's null and void ab initio. Never happened. And accordingly, Parliament will resume there tomorrow at 11.30. Hopefully this will result in a satisfactory agreement by October the 14th, which I think is the date it would have to be achieved. Or alternatively, the PM and the government there will have to seek an extension in line with the decision of Parliament, which was opposed to a no, a no deal. Perhaps, and you'd know a lot about that, Senator. Um, and I, I'll bow to your superior knowledge. But anyway, uh, that, that, that extension of time, if it's sought, uh, would ensure a transition period of two or three years, which would be of great benefit to both countries. And we do want to continue good relations with them, because we do so much trade with them, north and south, and to ensure that there won't be a border on the island of Ireland. So I am sure we are all here, look, of broadly of the one view here, regardless of our parties. And maybe, Leader, in the light of this now development, and I know things continue to change by the day, perhaps you would arrange that we would have an early discussion. And I'm wondering, could we call in our Attorney General? And because there are a lot of legal aspects, and I think there are people here, like the good Senator Burke, who might like to tease out some of these matters. But I leave it in your hands. Thanks. Thank you. Margaret.